In this review we are into the land of concrete pumping. And it's a Conrad model of the Schwing S36X concrete pump on a Mercedes-Benz Arox chassis. The branded box doesn't have any information about the real machine and there's no information for the model either. It's a Conrad truck model, so as usual we have to separate the mirrors and aerials from their plastic moulding sprues. The first mirror comes off easily, but oh my word, the second one takes a lot of twisting to try and get off, and we try and pull it and pull it, and it's not coming off. Let's give up on that for a moment and take off the small mirror. That comes off easily. Oh well, back to the other one. And finally, we get it off. We also need one aerial, and that's not going to argue with us, because it comes off nice and easily. The big door mirrors are easy to fit, and you can't get them upside down because of their design. And it's easy enough to fit a roof aerial, and you can't get that upside down, unless you're pretty stupid. One last part to fit is a mirror over the door, and for some reason this one doesn't have a silvered surface. <laughs> Looking underneath, the transmission and suspension parts are mainly in plastic. The steering is purely functional, and the same tyres are used on each wheel. The Mercedes-Benz Arox cab looks convincing, although it's a little bit plain in this white colour. The outrigger beams are plastic, but they have a very good colour match. And on the body, the tubes and pipework are all made of metal. The hopper has a grille, and on the right hand side, there's a painted control panel. The boom sections and the pipework are all metal so it's very robust. And the plastic hydraulic ram jackets also have a good colour match. Once again we're out on the specially built Cranes Etc test track. And the heavy weight of the model makes it a nice smooth roller. The steering is modelled functionally rather than for detail. But that gives it the possibility of a very good range of movement. And if you like, you can go to a very extreme steering lock. After all that driving, we find ourselves on site, so it's time to set up the concrete pump. So let's start by getting some stability, and we can achieve that by pulling out the outriggers. The front ones pull out at an angle and they have screw down pads. But rather than smooth pistons, you can see that there are screw threads. At the back, the outrigger beam just pulls out sideways. And although they're plastic, they can hold the model wheels free. Next we can go into action and raise the boom. And the first thing to say is that the hydraulic rams are really quite stiff. But on this model that's a good thing because as we'll see later, they will be able to hold a pose. The boom is hinged in a number of sections, so you have to carefully unfold it. And when you've opened it up as much as you want, you see there's a rubber hose at the end. And you can position that to place the concrete where you need it. So we've seen up, down and out, but what about round and round? And of course the whole placing boom rotates fully on its turntable to give you the maximum possibility for placing the concrete anywhere on site. One plus point for the model is that even at full extension, the boom shows no sign of sagging down. <laughs> Conrad has a long history of making concrete pump models, and they're always functionally very good. This one has good model engineering, and it's also very strong and robust. However, in some ways it's a little bit basic in terms of its detail, but it's a nice model to pose with others, and it's easy enough to recommend. <laughs> 